What's up guys, this is Hunt in the Top 100. This is my win over Pursuit or 7. Um, I went for the Beast, he's got he's got 2,367 points. He would be ranked 27th, just below that guy there with 2,354 points. He goes Tony Ferguson, I go Khabib. So, obviously when I'm fighting him, I know that he's got really good submissions, I know he's got rubber guard, I know he's got elbows, knees, good striking everywhere, and Khabib is just a dominant wrestler, so I'm going to try and neutralize him by taking him down and dominating on the ground. I need to stop any clinch work, I need to stop any straights, if he starts throwing one twos, I need to start taking him down straight away. Because Tony's long, can, is a long, hard fighter. Jabs to the body straight for me. He's starting to faint, Lord, so I'm doing a bit back. I want to see how close I can get to him before he, uh, before he starts backing up. And what he's doing, like, he's ducking a lot, you see. So I'm getting a lot of reactions out of him. That was a glitchy takedown, that one. Like, I might have been in range, but it was the way it went for it was wrong. The animation was bad. I faked one way. Go for the crucifix and catch him there. Blocked his crucifix here. I finish people here sometimes straight away as well. I thought I was going to get him because I blocked the second one as well. And then he. That's why he's a really, really good player because he literally felt my elbow coming. I should have waited a second. And then he blocked my transition. Goes for the guard. And again. Persistent, you got it twice there. Fantastic play from him. You gotta be patient on the ground. If you go first, you're in a bit disadvantage. I'll go straight up the stack guard. And he blocks it. No, he doesn't. I get it. So he's got that information now. He knows I want to go straight up because I want to see how much damage I can land from that position. I mean, this guy is really, really good. Never played him before. But he knows that my ground game's okay now. So now I'm just um I'm I'm trying to get him to strike with me up and up. Try and go a bit of clinch work in there. I wanna throw him off in case uh in case he starts out striking me. I, I wanna make him think too much, I wanna just start breaking my block. Gotta hit that body, make him move. Hopefully I can block his rubber guard, which I think he's gonna go for. There it is. And I posture up as he's doing it. Now I've got to do some damage. And he fit, he, he uh, slips the second one there. That's really good for him. So I know he's gonna block stack guard here, so I go straight away full guard. There's no way I'm doing the same thing twice. And really nice armbar attempt from him there. He faked once and then went the other way. I'm pretty good at getting out of these uh, joint submissions. I don't think it's too difficult if you know what you're doing. I've done it against top top players, like top elite players who are really good at submissions. And they often get the slam. Slams him in, goes straight to side control. Probably going to try and do a bit of damage here. Fake, fake, go for the crucifix, he blocks. Excellent work from him, brilliant. He manages to go for the... Pressing R2 and up and gets the reversal in a guard. So I'm trying to faint, faint, faint. I kind of want him to move because if I can make him move, he might become predictable. He's probably going to try and posture up, yet. Yeah. I didn't block the first one, which was bad. I'm glad I slipped that one there. He's gassed here. I need to take advantage of it. Fake, fake, fake. Go for full guard. I have to accept this position of him on top, but. I don't think he's done a lot of damage. I think I won that round. Obviously, I want to be on top. I want to do my ground and pound. He, he's, he did a really good job there of kind of getting on top and doing some damage with just a bit of ground and pound. Straight away, I fake because it takes away the awkwardness of the glove touch. And I'll never trust anyone anymore with glove touch after I've been knocked out when someone just threw a fun kick. I knew he was going to try and out wrestle me um, and get on top because he had a successful a successful um, end of the round so I, I kind of figured out that he was going to probably try and wrestle and I need to counter wrestle and punish him because he's underestimated my ground game now because he had a bit of time on top so I need to do some damage from here I usually like to take back right? so the first thing I'll do is I'll always posture and then Later on in the fight, I want to take that back because he's expecting me to posture up. There we go. I always do the same thing. 
if they roll like, I'll take side control and just dominate from there he's not blocking these here he's blocked the uh, I think it was too obvious what he was going to go for there I'm going to try to do some ground upon him he's not blocking them so I could probably break his block here oh he's not stopping it, he's not timing off he's out, it's over oh I'm actually quite shocked what a fight, it's over and we've beat the 27th ranked player in the world by Khabibin him with Khabib we uh, got the ground and pound there from the back the back is the most underutilised under positions in UFC for at the moment just because of the ground and pound people need to start using it more in top 100 and I think we're going to start seeing it soon great fight, great fight if you guys have enjoyed watching this uh, follow, like and subscribe I'm going to be doing a series on Tyron Woodley who's fighting tomorrow night against Kobe Covenant and I'm going to do a series against my boy Gamer Echo which was absolutely fire so make sure you like and subscribe bye